Hello guys, uh, my name is Evans and uh, welcome to this uh, video. In this video, I'm continuing looking at the February-March 2017 IGCC ICT paper 1-2. Um, in the last video, we ended up with step uh, question number 16 rather. And in this video, we conclude with question number 17. And question 17 reads, email is one, uh, one method of communication that uses the internet. So explain the strategies that you could use to protect yourself and your computer whilst using emails. Okay, so the question is actually basically asking you to um, to uh, mention some of the techniques that you can use to protect yourself, um, either by sending emails or reading emails or opening emails, um, um, uh, and so on and so uh, and the like. Okay, so the first one that you want is that um, do not open suspicious email address, uh, rather emails, suspicious emails okay so these include emails that are coming from um, um, unknown um, people okay um, also if you if you open pen ensure that you scan scan the email for viruses for viruses using an updated antivirus okay antivirus okay also don't download uh, file attachments, okay? File attachments from suspicious people. By this we mean people you you are not expecting to receive anything from. I mean, um, they cannot send you anything, okay? The other thing that you um, you may um, you may want to to do is that do not let's say don't not do not let's say don't reply don't reply to emails that are suspicious what this mean is that um, the, the one who sent you the email address suppose is um is a hacker or something then they know that your email address is active when you reply to that so don't reply to um, um, email addresses so you can also use use spam filter spam filter software okay what this does is separate legit emails from emails that you don't even have business to do with I mean okay so use spam filter to extract um, or to clear spam regularly okay to clear spam regularly so what this does is scan through your emails and then um, it depicts a pattern of emails and labels them as spam and then it can uh, group them and then um, clear them okay also avoid giving personal details in emails okay well don't worry here's my new number it's whatever 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 <laughs> okay so avoid doing that um, uh, maybe let me just put up one more um, um, for the sake of um, thing so you need to um, when you are replying to emails, include the subject. So include subject when writing email. This makes it easy for the person who is reading to know that this is not spam. Okay, when writing email. Okay, so include the subject and also check and also 
check the names of the people you are replying to. Okay, check their names. I mean, if you do know them, if you don't know them, it's pointless for you even to reply. You know, somebody would say, well, I just replied, do I know you? <laughs> How would you reply, do I know you? Then the hacker has known that this email address is active. Okay, so the last question says, when using the internet, it is easy to accidentally give your personal details to others. Okay, so give two examples of personal data. Okay, so... Um, there are different things that you can do. You can talk about maybe if your phone number. You can talk about your name, your gender, your home address. Um, you can talk about maybe your bank details. Okay. Uh, even your medical his history. Okay, medical history. Your country of origin. City and things like that. Even your religion. Okay, so let's say your religious... Um, uh, what do we say? Let's just say religion. Let's not try to be smart here. <laughs> Let's just say religion. So that was history. And um, yeah, so that is religion. Okay. So there are many other things, guys, that you get. As long as something that is personal, then you're talking about um, yeah, guarding yourself from giving out this. I know most social media or social networks, um, they are, they ask us to provide some of this stuff. And there is um, uh, the Data Protection Act that each one of them actually signs that they cannot just give out your details um, and, and the like. Although there has been some cases in the past, um, we've seen um, certain organizations being sued um, uh, for um, for breach of contract okay, between the user and the organization where Maybe the FBI went to this organization and said, uh, uh, we, 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 we are spying on this person. We want to find out what they do. So give us some of the information. So they give them your, your phone number. They give them your address. They give them all these other stuff. And then suddenly the FBI is knocking on your door and you wonder, how did they know that I live here? Uh, it's because of um, that breach of contract of the Data Protection Act, which stipulates that data should be used lawfully, shared with your consent, and it should be obtained lawfully and stuff like that. Okay, so I think for today we'll end here. So thank you so much, guys. Let me have feedback on some of these videos that I've done, especially for theory paper. Um, there may be certain things that we may need to adjust. The first time I'm putting up a theory paper um, on the internet, um, I don't usually do theory paper. I do practical papers um, for um, for my channel. But um, a number of you have requested me to do theory papers also. So uh, let me hear uh, from you what you think about these papers and what you think we can do to improve um, these papers, how um, the strategy of solving the questions and stuff like that. Okay. So thank you so much. And I'll see you in um, uh, next videos. And um, thank you so much. Love you. Bye-bye.